hello welcome so in previous video i have created one integration in which i have taken some input from user in request payload and the same data i have inserted into atp table so mainly we have in previous video we have created integration to insert data into atp table you can say that this was the integration so now in this video i will create another integration in which i will update the data into atp table so suppose here in atp table we have data suppose we have uh, ID 1002 and for this ID we have class as BCA so I will create integration so that I can change this value BCA to MCA and all so let's see how we can do that so first we require request payload so in request payload if you will see in previous request payload we have used these things right for inserting right so now for update payload what we will do we will just give the id unique id and based on the unique id i want to change the class so i will remove this one and also i want to change the session okay so suppose here i will give mca and i will change session to two 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 three two 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 two, two five okay so i have to update these things and same in response i want to return success and the successfully updated okay so let's create integration first so here for creating integration again i have to go to integration integration as i have already created connection for that so connection name you can see that this is a rest endpoint connection connection name is fox rest trigger connection 01 and this is the atp connection and atp connection name is that fox atp trigger and invoke 01 so just go click on this create select app driven select so give the name ATP insert sorry update data into ATP table and 01 okay so now I will go for create so you can see that integration is initiated so now I have to add the endpoint so that this integration can initiate okay so first I will select horizontal and now I have to drag the rest endpoint so that I can configure the request and response payload. Okay. Now I will give the name of this endpoint as a start rest. And here again I will do update table. Okay, it will be post because I want to configure request and response payload. So I will take it here, go next, and here I have to assign the request format. So I have already created the request format. So I will give this request format here and just go next so again select JSON so why we are selecting JSON here because we are providing the sample in JSON format so these are the sample and it is in JSON format okay just okay now our endpoint is configured so once this endpoint is configured you can see that this is the mapper for this endpoint so this here using this endpoint we will get request and using this mapper we will return back the response so here suppose for this error i have to remove this error by enabling the tracing variable so here i will give the class name save now error is resolved so now what i have to do is that i have to add that atp endpoint so here in atp we have fox trigger invoke so i will add this atp here before mapping so update atp okay now here I will select perform my operation on SQL table. So here we have update. We have also insert or update or we can say much. So I will uh, tell you about this in next video. Okay. So why we, uh, we will use insert or update. So just go to next. Here we have to select the table name. A schema first. So I will select a schema as ATP user. You as in previous video I have told you that my schema is ATP user and table name is this. So I will search this table. Okay search in select a statement or update a statement you can select up to three tables remember you can import up to three table over here just click on this import hmm. so now here this is my primary key so i will select this id as primary key go next everything is okay i don't want to configure anything here just go and in mapper i will assign the value so go down so here my ATP endpoint is added and this is a mapper of ATP endpoint that it update ATP. So here I will assign the value. So what kind of value I have to update? 
so uh, here this is the request of this endpoint and this is the id name class session so what value i have to update i have to update based on that because like this is default right suppose this is warehouse where condition because this id is unique so based on this id it will update the value rest value because this primary I key will not be updated right we are knowing that this thing so here i will assign class to class and session to session so what it will happen is that it will search the data into the table with the this id and whatever value uh, like after that id we will assign the same value will be replaced in database okay so we have mapped click on validate and close so now our integration is completed mapping everything is done so just save and close and let me any configure this integration is already configured we have because we have completed successfully without any error so i will enable the tracing so that i can check the payload activate it will take some time to activate two to five seconds so now activated just to go and run so here in body you can see that i have assigned this value id 1001 so here in this table if you will see the id 1001 is name is s201 and class is bca and session is 2020 to 23 so i will change this to bca to mca okay so here what i will do here i will here yeah, you can see that it's by default right default we have configured this value is coming over there okay we can change it also so here mca 22 uh, 101 so let me execute this so once i will run the integration integration is completed successfully and the same you can see the database is updated so here i am going to pin this database and now again i am going to select the query so here you can see that for this 1001 s21 we have mca and 23 to 25 earlier we had s201 bca and 2023 so let's change for 1003 so now here is it is mca so i will change to bca okay so here if you will see 1003 so i will select bca suppose i will select btech okay btech and session i will select suppose 2022 to 2026 so now 1003 we have 1004 we have 2022 to 2024 now it will be replaced to 2022 to 2026 as mentioned in here okay so just click on this test so same data I have updated in atv table so just here pin down pin down this query and just run so here you can see that for 1003 we have btech like earlier we had mca 103 we have mca and now if suppose if you will see if i will pass here 6 okay what will happen this 1006 is not available in database then what will happen let's check it will not update the any value okay here you can see it completed successfully but not updated the value why not updated because we don't have data with that id primary id key right so in this case if you want if our requirement is that if we don't have value this value in the table the same record should be inserted in table then we have insert or update operation so in next video i will use that insert or update operation so thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you so much we'll meet you in next video